Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and it's time for another gadget pick. Today we're taking a look at the Make ID Label Printer L1. If you ever use one of those Brother P-Touch printers, this is very similar to that. And as you can see here, it spits out labels of your own design and it will do that through its app, which I'll show you in a second. It is very affordable, although the replacement ribbon packs cost about as much as the printer does. Now, before we get into this, I do want to let you know, in the interest of full disclosure, this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, nobody is reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and this is not a sponsored video. So let's get into it now and see what this label printer is all about. Now, the printer itself is pretty simple. It's a basic thermal printer. It only prints one color. It's not good at printing photographs, so you'll want to stick to the clip art like you saw at the outset here and the ribbon is stored inside as you can see. I've got a white one here that it came with. It's about a half an inch thick. They have some other colors available and there's also a ribbon type that has removable stickers. This one is a sticker and what you have to do after you spit it out is to kind of fold it in half here and pull off the backing so that you can stick it to something. Not too hard to work with, very similar to what you might have experienced with the Brother P-Touch and other labelers. There is a built-in battery, so it can operate completely wirelessly. It connects via Bluetooth to an iPhone or an Android device. And the charge should last you through a good organizational session, but you may want to plug it in if you've got an all-day project ahead of you. It does come with the USB-C charging cable, but not a charger. So just be aware of that. You'll need to have a USB uh, charging adapter somewhere nearby. Not much else to it other than the big button up here to cut the ribbon when it goes through. So why don't we get the app going now and see how we can print a label out on this printer. All right, so we've got the app loaded up now. The printer, as you can see, is on and communicating over Bluetooth. When you first install the app, it'll ask you to give it permission to use the Bluetooth. You have to say yes to that, otherwise it won't be able to find the printer. So just be sure to get ready for that on the iPhone and on the Android side. And what we're going to do is just print a continuous label because that's what I have loaded up in here. If I had some of those pre-cut labels, I would have the option to use those instead. It's then going to ask you what width of the label you're using. I have the thickest one in there, the 16 millimeter one. So we're going to select that and I'm going to click on yes here and then I can just start typing. So I'm just going to type in the word test here and then I'm going to click the checkbox. And then you also have the option to put some stickers on here. They've got a whole bunch of little clip arts that print out really nicely on here. So maybe we'll select, I don't know, a, a little person here and maybe a cat and maybe another a dog here will be consistent. And then I'll hit the plus mark here and then click on print. What's surprising is how fast this comes out. So I can print two copies or just one copy here and off it goes. And that is pretty much it. So we got the words. You won't see the full label because it prints underneath the button here. But when I push the button, as you can see, everything came out the way that we had designed it on the app. You have the option to save it, and if you forget to save it, you can go over here to history and see everything else that you printed before. So it does keep a log of everything that was printed. So even if you forget to save, you've got uh, the ability to jump back. There's no programmatic stuff in here in the sense that you can't have it print barcodes it doesn't do any kind of serialization. So if you wanted to print a serial number, for example, you'd have to load it all in manually. So this is really kind of a home labeler, more so than a business tool. But I would suppose it wouldn't be all that hard for them to add some of that functionality to the app in the future. But right now, this is pretty much what you do with it. Now it does support photographs, but I wouldn't expect much out of here. So for example, here's a photo of my friend's dog I took the other day and you've got to basically convert it into this black and white mode. And of course it's printing out on a very small sheet of paper. So if I go ahead here and hit print, you can get a feel for what that'll look like when it's done. I would not uh, really count on this to be able to print photographs that reliably. The clip art works much better. So you just get just kind of a crazy little black and white image here that's not very effective. But you can go in and change the fonts. So if we go back to uh, the test here, I can change the text from the font that it kind of defaults to, to a whole bunch of other ones here. So they've got a lot of customization that you can do with your labels. You can make them look as fancy as you'd like. And of course, you've got other uh, label colors and different types of formats that they offer as well. So pretty cool little printer here. And if you were looking for something cheap just to do some things around the house, I think this will accomplish it. The app is very easy to work with 
and I found this to be a lot easier than working with one of those standalone label printers where you gotta type everything into the keyboard. Just found it a lot easier to work with the phone. And of course, you have the option to save your designs to print out later. That's gonna do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Logic KGR, Tom Albrecht, and Amda Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.